Hi, my name is Aaron Gonzalez. I'm a SharePoint consultant and a Microsoft MVP in Office Development. I also have a YouTube channel. It's called Hopeless SharePoint. Last year, I did publish a video on how to prevent document downloads in SharePoint. So you will be able to use SharePoint, upload documents, see the documents, but not able to download. So the video is there. And recently, last week, I did have a comment, a comment that I want to share and record a new video responding that comment. So we are talking about this specific comment from Juliet. She's saying, you know, I'm trying to control downloads, but I am also need people to edit the document in the browser. How can we accomplish that? So this session and video is for responding this question. So let me show you how can we accomplish that. We are able to accomplish this by creating a permission level. In SharePoint, we have site permissions. Under the site permissions, we have groups of permissions, and that is a permission level. So if you need to be a SharePoint site collection administrator to do this. So you will go to the permission levels options, and the existing permission that prevents downloading documents is this one called the view only document. But we need now to enable edit and prevent downloads. So the solution here is to, number one, look at the view only permission, scroll down, and click the copy permission level option. This will create a new permission level and replicate the same permissions enable in the view only permission. So let's do that. Let's copy the permission level. SharePoint will kind of give us a new form for creating a new permission level, but it will actually check those individual permissions that the view only permission have. So let's call this permission level view only with edit permissions. And let's type here, prevent downloads and allow editing. That will be the description. So the only thing that we, need, that we need to do here is just to click edit items. So we are assigning to this permission level the edit items permission. And actually the approved, the approved items too uh, because it did mention something on regards approval. So here it is. Let me go and click create and that will create a new permission level inside of my SharePoint site. So now let's configure a new group, a new SharePoint security group, and assign the permission level. Straightforward, create a group. This group is gonna be called view only permission, view only with edit permissions. And notice this. Here we will select view only with edit permissions. Okay. So now we will click create, and now we have a group with our specific permission level. So let me assign a person here. So let's add Paul Smith to be a member of the group. Here it is. And now let's see if Paul Smith is able to, number one, don't download documents, and number two, edit documents. So I will open another session here. I'm logged as Paul Smith. I will go to the document library and let's see what happens. So here we have a document. Oh, it's a PDF file. Let me upload a document first. So with my other um, identity, I will upload a new document here. Let's upload this one. So it's uploading the document. Okay, notice that it's pending the status here. Let me refresh the document. And here we have a document. Notice that the approval status is pending, okay? So, if I click the ellipsis and then try to download the file, that's not gonna be available. So the file cannot be downloaded. Now the next permission is to edit the file. So if I double click the file, it will load Word web application. And yes, I can 
edit the document. It, I'm able to edit. I'm able not to open Word client. So it, I'm using the web technologies here. I'm not using the local Word application installed in my computer. So there's no way for me to download the file. But I do can edit. I can edit the document. So if I go back here, click share document, there it is, document is here. And now let's approve it. So I will click the ellipses here, go to the more section. Here we have the approval and reject because in this case, in this document library, we have the content approval feature enable. Let's do that. Let's say approve, let's hit okay. So now we are able to prevent downloads and support editing and approvals for our documents. All right, so I hope this video responds that question. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.